Thanks for visiting my channel. It's the Muscle Magpie here, and today we're going to discuss how to shop your own closet to create a fall capsule wardrobe. The reason I like to do this is because sometimes I get exhausted making decisions. I have to think about what's for dinner every night for the rest of my life. That can be exhausting. Figuring out what I'm gonna wear is really hard on top of all of that. And I personally tend to just wear yoga pants or leggings and a t-shirt if I don't have a capsule set out before me. So I went ahead and I spent the time to go through my closet and this is what I came up with. Um, <laughs> this is what I do to help with my spoons in the winter time. When I have seasonal affective disorder, I love the winter. It is my favorite season, but I do realize that my depression worsens during that time. Uh, the trick to a fall wardrobe capsule is to pick several complementing colors uh, and then pair those complementary colors with warm neutrals for the fall. Um, I think if you can see here, I focused a lot on uh, reds, mustards, grays, olive greens, uh, a couple of other greens, not just olives, uh, blacks, creams, tans, those are all neutral or complementary colors that I've chosen for this particular season. Ugh. Ones that I like the most. They remind me the most of the foliage in this season. Um, you want to have several scarf options as well. <clears throat> The reason for that is because a scarf can elevate any outfit. You can take a casual skinny cocktail dress that's just plain black, maybe a little glitter on it, and then you can elevate that to an evening gown with something as simple as an elegant wrap. It's not expensive to do, and it can change your look from going out to a club to instead going to a possible formal event. You have options available to you um, where I get like all of my scarves uh, is Goodwill. I love Goodwill. Either I make them for Goodwill or I think I've gotten a couple from friends and a couple from my mother-in-law, but mostly I'm a Goodwill scarf girl. Like if I find scarves for $3 or less, I'm picking them up because scarves are my jam. I love them. They're beautiful. They're flowy. They add to every outfit. And they keep you warm. It's just another layer, which is always helpful, right? Uh, also, uh, check your footwear. That's a really big thing that folks don't do during the fall is change their footwear. This is not really the season to wear tennis shoes everywhere. That's kind of spring and summer. Now you're gonna wanna wear boots, you're gonna wanna wear flats, you're gonna wanna wear Oxfords, a little more classy shoe. Uh, just because it's a classier time of year, you're going to be dressing in a more uh, adult fashion, I suppose, a more mature fashion because the fall tends to bring out more mature fashions in everybody. Your coats tend to get thicker and warmer and come in warmer tones. Your uh, clothing tends to be warmer and focus on layering. So it's, you work to make it more attractive. So obviously you want to elevate your shoe game at the same time. You don't want to have your outfit lacking because of lack of footwear, right? Um, another thing that I personally recommend that I find helps a lot is to decide, first of all, you with any of these, you can do whatever kind of look you want. I have gone sassy, badassy, uh, Lolita girl with this stuff. I have gone uh, super goth with this stuff. But this year I decided instead of that, or instead of cutesy, where I use backpack purses and stuff like that, I wanted to go for a more mature look. That's just what I personally am going for this fall. Um, and I'm doing that because it's going to help me achieve what I am focused on achieving, which is success with this channel and getting to more of you guys. So, um, Footwear is very important, but also once you've decided on what your look is, like for me, it's going to be a more mature look, you need to look at your bags. I know that is a super duper controversial thing to say, <laughs> but swap your bags with the seasons, ladies. Please don't use the same purse all year round. I will admit that I am 100% guilty of using the same purse all year round. If it is 
my favorite purse. I will wear it forever. Spend $90 on a purse. Definitely want to get some wear out of it. So I have been guilty of wearing a purse out legitimately. Um, and that sucks because then you've lost that bag. But if you can change your bag to fit the season and also fit the mood of that season, then your game is once again elevated. I've chosen a couple of bags this time. Uh, one is a relic bag in mustard. It's all man-made materials. There's no, I think it's like a vegan leather. And I've adorned it with a plushy spider and a pin from Amazon. And also uh, a classic coach bag. This I actually got from, I believe, a friend of mine for real cheap. And she was getting rid of it. And it's been amazing. Like having this in my catalog of clothing has been fabulous for me. I absolutely recommend upcycling and getting, you know, great hand-me-downs from your friends because they can elevate your wardrobe. I mean, you guys swap things, share things. That's worth it. It really is because something that may not work for you right now could be the exact thing that will work for them right now. I highly recommend it. I do want to get one red purse this year. Um, I don't currently have a red purse, but I will get one to add to my repertoire here. And also, I'd like to recommend everybody have several belts. Um, I have a couple of belts here. They're only black right now. I'm going to add in belts in mustard, brown, suede, and uh, maroon. So, and that is because I like the idea that your shoes should match your belt, at least in color. So, I also like the idea that your handbag should match your belt and your shoes. So I'm gonna work to make that happen. I've gotta go to Goodwill, I've gotta scope out the deals, figure out, you know, what I like. I don't really like to buy brand new, especially nowadays when I lose so quickly, but I really do like to go to Goodwill because it's like 50 cents for a belt, a really nice one, you know? I mean, you don't need it to hold anything up. It's just for fashion. It's to help accentuate your waist, really. So anyway, uh, Finally, let's hit athletic wear. If you're like me and you sweat like a horse after a race, which is a lot, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you have in your wardrobe things like this, little crop tops, open backs, little tank tops, crop tops like that weekend one and the Hope Scope one. The reason you're going to want to have those kind of crop tops in your repertoires because you're going to be cold on the bottom, but your heart is pumping so hard when you're running, especially in the winter time that up here is going to be hot. And if you are wearing long sleeves, you might stop before you need to because you're too hot. That's just my suggestion. I personally deal with that. I know not everybody does. That's okay. It is me. Um, and that's just my suggestion. This is how I do. <laughs>
but a tender heart. 